Hello and welcome to our new journey. In this video, I'm going to present some interesting concepts about federated learning, knowledge distillation, and a combination of them. I mean federated knowledge distillation. That's all about sharing local knowledge of clients without violating users' privacy. Here is our journey plan. First, I discuss the aims and motivations of this presentation. Then I present basic concepts of knowledge distillation and federated learning. After that, I introduce federated knowledge distillation, that's the combination of federated learning and knowledge distillation. I conclude this video by presenting some example research work in this direction. In centralized learning methods, all training data is gathered in a common data center and a single global model is trained on the collected data. In some scenarios that this data is collected from individuals and institutions and contains confidential information, we face privacy issues since clients do not agree to share their private data with others. To collect enough data for training while preserving the privacy of clients, federated learning is proposed. Despite its advantages, it poses some practical challenges that calls for a better version of this paradigm. That's why we aim to leverage the main concept of knowledge distillation and combine it with federated learning to achieve a more efficient and robust solution for privacy concerns. Knowledge distillation refers to transferring the wisdom or experience of a teacher model to a student model. Teacher model is a large and well-trained model that's trained with a great deal of data. And we have a student model which is smaller and aims to use hints of the teacher model and immediate it to learn more efficiently compared to the independent scenario in which the student model learns independently without the teacher's assistance. To transfer teacher's knowledge to the student model, first we calculate the teacher's soft labels for data samples in the dataset. A soft label is actually the prediction of a specific model for an input data which shows the probabilities of assigning the, the input data to different classes. After that, we obtain the student predictions or soft levels for the input data samples. We have a total loss function that has two terms, a cross entropy loss function between the student's predictions and grand truth labels and a KL loss function between the teacher's soft labels and students' soft labels. In this way, in addition to the supervised learning process, we have the knowledge distillation process in which the student model tries to produce predictions similar to teacher's soft labels. Federated learning is a method to collaboratively train a global model by clients without sharing their private data. We have a server or a coordinator that is responsible for aggregating the local models of different clients. First, the server initializes the global model and shares it with clients. Clients update the global model using their local data. Then the local models are sent to the server for aggregation. The server receives all local models and combines them to obtain a new global model. This process is repeated until it converges. Well, in this slide, I'm going to discuss the advantages and challenges of federated learning methods. As the main objective, they preserve the privacy of clients. In the case of small local data sets, they may have less communication costs compared to the centralized methods. And they distribute the computation cost of training process among clients. They also have some big challenges. They are prone to model inversion attacks. They face model drift issue due to the data heterogeneity among local data sets. What's more, they enforce a uniform model architecture on all clients. Because of system heterogeneity, I mean heterogeneity in communication, computation, and energy resources among clients, we face staleness effects in training process. Communication cost of these methods can be significantly high uh, in scenarios with large local models. 
To resolve some of these challenges, we can combine the knowledge distillation concept with federated learning and make a new solution called federated knowledge distillation, in which we share knowledge of clients rather than their local models. By leveraging federated knowledge distillation, our framework would be more robust against model inversion attacks. It needs less communication overhead as the knowledge sets are much smaller compared to the local models. On top of that, it would be more privacy preserving since only knowledge of clients is shared instead of their model parameters. And clients can adopt heterogeneous model architectures. However, federated knowledge distillation has several disadvantages as well. It needs a public dataset to extract and transfer the knowledge of a client to other clients and it has additional steps in local updating phase that increase the computation burden of these methods compared to the traditional federated learning methods. Here we introduce the first federated knowledge installation work called FedMD. It has four main steps in each round. First, local models are trained on local datasets in edge devices. Then, local predictions are calculated for each local model using a shared data set. These predictions are some soft labels that represent the local knowledge of clients. After that, the set of local knowledge of clients are aggregated in the server to achieve a global knowledge. That's a set of aggregated soft labels. These aggregated soft labels are sent back to clients and local models are fine-tuned using the shared dataset and these aggregated soft labels as the ground truth. This process is repeated for multiple rounds to obtain a predefined convergence rate. Now I'm going to present our research works in this direction. The first one is Kung Fu, Effective Knowledge Fusion. In this paper, we aim to effectively fuse the knowledge of clients. The challenge is the model drift issue resulted from heterogeneous local data of clients. To mitigate this problem, we introduce an algorithm that makes some personalized clusters or neighborhoods for each client based on its dataset characteristics. These characteristics are derived by local model biases to different classes. The next work is FedD2S, Personalized Data-Free Federated Model Distillation. The main challenge of this paper is to train personalized local models for clients with heterogeneous data in a federated framework. To do so, we utilize a fact in training process of CNN models. As the training process of CNN model progresses, deep layers or last layers of the model would be more adapted to the local datasets. In other words, the personalization degree of deep, deeper layers increases as the training process continues. So to uh, obtain personalized local models in the federated framework and prevent sharing adverse knowledge among clients, we share only the knowledge of general layers and the knowledge of personalized layers is kept local. In the last research work, our objective was to present a federated knowledge distillation based algorithm for next POI recommendation. The challenges addressed in this paper are data sparsity and data heterogeneity and system heterogeneity. I mean heterogeneity in communication and computational resources among clients. The system heterogeneity problem is alleviated by considering different model architectures based on local resources and utilizing a semi-synchronized framework for aggregation. And we have also leveraged the uh, uh, cluster federated knowledge distillation for addressing the data heterogeneity problem. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful for you. For more interesting videos, please subscribe to the Danish Academy channel.